fan-funded fiction favourite Iron Sky from 2012 gets a very welcome second coming with returning Finnish director Timo Vorsola's 2019 sequel Iron Sky The Coming Race. The scenario jumps to 2047 after the Earth vs Moon Nazis war ended in 2018 in Armageddon. Thirty years on and the last remaining humans themselves now reside upon the moon in the former Nazi stronghold base. Neomenia moon base is where the last living remnants of humanity now survive. Living side by side with the former moon Nazis who were left behind themselves by the earth invading Nazi hierarchy. Neomenia's ageing technology scanners pick up a signal of an incoming craft, putting the base on high alert. But moon-born child Obi, a feisty young woman, an all-round engineer, tech head, repair gal and kick-ass calm, get the job done tomboy, sets about shortcoming any panic attack upon the unknown craft and aids in securing it a safe passage and secure landing with the moon base dock. It proves to be a wise move as the spacecraft is a homemade ship filled with Russian immigrants and flown by a sincere young pilot named Sasha. These are the first Earth refugees in 2047 and a sign for the Earth may just still hold future hope. All aboard then, let's prepare to jump on board with Iron Sky, the coming race. In 2047, upon moon-based Neomenia, the cranks and kooks of human society still find foundation among the regular folk, and the future theologists preach of the new world within their temple of tech faith using e-prayer apps on their moon mobile phones. Life support systems are failing though, supplies are dwindling, and the moon quakes are shaking the base rafters to the quick. There is a greater threat though that steps out of the shadows as the moon Nazi Fuhrer is discovered to be still alive. Time for the terrific Udo Kier to take centre stage and unleash his maniacal madness once again upon the unsuspecting humans. This time though he needs the open-minded aid of Obi to benefit himself in helping the survival cause of her people. It turns out that the seemingly ageless moon Nazi and his Nazi Reich order are far more than originally thought though. They are an ancient race of aliens, fueled by a pure energy protein that re-energizes and enables regrowth of body parts and organs. Wolfgang Udakir's scheming moon Nazi character informs Obi that the pure energy is the reason why he and his people are able to live forever and that its source is most prevalent still now within the centre of the earth. The planet's surface may be scorched but the alien Nazi Fuhrer, Wolfgang's brother and the master race rule supreme at its heart. Since the dawn of planet Earth and its history and mythology along with its theological grounding, the alien race has been prevalent. Adam and Eve apparently born and raised from two experimental primates and the Garden of Eden, now the paradise at the homeland of the intergalactic fatherland. There sits a city within which a temple where the holy grail of pure energy awaits. To save the moon and its people, Obi and a ragtag team 
must journey back to Earth and seek out the pure energy. So she and pilot Sasha, along with a handful of others, set off to save humanity. Prepare then to be wowed by the SFX excellence of this stellar sci-fi cool production. As familiar elements of Star Wars, Raiders of the Lost Ark and Jules Verne collide. Crash landing down through into Hollow Earth, the ragtag crew soon are greeted by the primal order beauty of an unravaged land but also one of great prehistoric dangers. It's time for fantasy thrills and action thrills aplenty, as Iron Sky, the coming race, wows at its best here, and the seamless special effects blend in with the majestic might of the practical effects team of technicians. Amazing craft to behold indeed, as interior and exterior artisan design structures and sets really capture the imagination of the filmmaker's vision for the piece. Revel then as a viewer and enjoy the fun flair of a deserving 6.5 out of 10 experience as we are treated to the full family of alien shapeshifters known as the Vril and come face to face with Adolf Hitler riding a T-Rex. Not just that, but a whole score of alien caricatures of historic human figureheads that humorously include Vladimir Putin, Margaret Thatcher and others all sat together at a long table, clearly reminiscent as the setting for The Last Supper. Not even David Icke sitting down to lunch with Nostradamus could have predicted such awesome silliness. This is a twisted testament of mystorical Earth. Unleash the velociraptor dogs of the gladiatorial Vril soldier guards as Obi and Sasha's presence is uncovered and their tomb raiding antics to procure the Holy Grail, pure energy, then goes into overdrive as we are treated to a Cecil B. de Millstone movie moment with a prehistoric chariot race to escape that almost triceratops the Ben Hur styled original. This is a far fetched, fun fueled fantasy to be sought out and soon to be available from the wonderful folk at 101 Films. Planet Earth, Third Reich, from the sun. Overall, although this sequel may not be as outrageously hysterical as the first movie, it's still a big, fun production. And it's evident to see how much more time and attention to detail has been spent and put in by all concerned with the film with regards to the special effects and indeed the practical effects. This one looks good, sounds good and is just good all round and definitely a big step forward as far as the fans of the franchise are concerned and a big fun time to be had by all for sure in watching this one. There's even a fully financed Chinese spin-off feature Iron Sky movie coming soon from the same director and crew. We shall indeed see Udo Kier once more back to his devious and nefarious alien Führer ways. What would be extra cool would be a true trilogy topping sequel to give us perhaps Iron Sky 3, Mars, Red Planet, Russian Rules. What a way to finish. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.